Oh yeah, I did. Never mind. Okay, so turn forty-four, year ten seventy-five. It's a fair season. So this is where we are. Picked up another uh, authority point. So we're going for fifty-seven. Picked up some more legacy of two, of course. Uh oh, what's this? Our narration is on its way to progress under the wise rule of Gantry. And uh, Neil is progressing. Progress to your reach, okay? I don't know what that means. So we're progressing. <laughs> I don't know exactly what that means. Anyway, flashing stuff on the right hand side. We've got the uh, influential and potential, uh, and potent nobles of Dublin have uh, fortified our nation's authority plus one. We have received a new regional decision. Send counselor. Let's check that out. And you have a pretty good understanding of where the blah blah loyalty lies. So that's one of our people in our court. He's at loyalty 100. And our envoys have returned and told us Ulaid rejected our offer. We sent them an offer to be in, join an alliance. And um, they said no. It's okay. Anyway, so that new regional decision. Send counselor. So you'll send one of your advisors, or is he a spy, to assist a peer of the realm in charge of one of your domain uh, province. This will boost his uh, loyalty and might even increase one of our rating of his rating. Unfortunately, you would use this like on a vassal, which we don't have yet. So. E and we're at 13 of 12, so if we don't use one of these, um, one would be picked randomly to go away, because you can only have 12 at a time. Restore order, doesn't cost us anything, but we don't have any order issues, but... <laughs> yeah, they would cost the uh, reduced ones that triggers. I don't know why the crying was there. <laughs> I'm not sure why that happened. Uh, anyway. Okay, so uh, we're going to pick a population one turn there. Double and fortified things just like that. We've got six turns until the Manor Lord is built. Growth in 55. And up here, we have growth in four turns. Okay, so. Oh, you may be asking, why am I not kicking the crap out of these guys? Because I have the biggest standing army, I think. Fifth, or sorry, 12 units, 91 power. They are 10 units, 64 power. 6 and 35, and 8 and 45. Well, see, the problem is, is in order to conquer them, you have to take their capitals too, which usually has a garrison of some kind. In this case, you can see the power there, the POW. That's 68. There's 140. There's 138. And why not these guys? Why am I not looking at these guys at all? Because we we are working towards an alliance with them, sort of, kind of. Someday, maybe. But anyway, I didn't realize this. their capital was so weak. 68 and 45. So what is that? 113? Our army, though, is only 91. So we could go in there, kick the crap out of his army, and then retreat back. Just for fun. But then we have to declare war. Because hmm. we won't be able to take that. Well, we might be able to. Oh yeah, we can. We just have to kill them first, hopefully. But I bet... See, we can't unfortunately go in here until we declare war. There's actually a uh, decision that's like an ambush. It's like you basically... You use it, and you can declare war and attack at the same time on the same turn. Otherwise, you have to do it the old-fashioned, which is you go to diplomacy, declare war. On. Oh, so you're basically telling them to declare war on somebody. So we don't want them to do that. We want you to declare war on you guys. I wish there was a confirmation there. I really do. There should be some of these buttons are just they happen, but there should be a confirmation button. And again, we can't move down there until next turn. So next turn it is. Oh, I should probably should have saved. Yeah, it's okay. 
Now, if he's smart, he's going to retreat his army into his city. Ah, we lost 10 just for declaring war. Wow, that's harsh. Now further on, uh, the ruling of our realm is inefficient and incompetent with incompetent advisors. It's now regressing. Thank you. And it is raised in uh, defiance of Leinster. War is on them. Leinster. Is it Leinster or Leinster? I think it's Leinster. So anyway. Does he want peace already? <laughs> he wants peace. We haven't even fought anything yet. Uh, so at Rooms, the Lords of Southern Nia has issued a decree for the people to construct a new reinforced palisade. Fine, just in case. So this is a temporary thing, I think. Press yes button. Are you sure? Press yes button. Are you really sure? Press yes button. Press yes to confirm. I would be happy with that. I would be more happy with multiple button presses to confirm than pressing it and it just happens. Dublin uh, saw a mighty invasion by Leinster after crushing the local militia, pillaging, and murders followed. How did that happen? More importantly, how did he do that? Laxfield owned by blah, blah blah has been destroyed. You suck. He is in turmoil, and Godfrey has asked the local lord to re restrict entry into cities. Serf and peasant movements are also heavily restricted. So that was nice of him to be able to do that in one whole turn of declaring war. Now we walk in there and go kick his ass. Got a power 45 versus our 91. Now, before I do this... It's a little late, but it'll be fine. Uh, turmoil. Certain limbs, blah, blah blah. So anyway, so there's a reinforced palisade. It'll be built next turn. Still working on that. Although we lost our lost flax, right, or whatever we're producing there. Three more turns in our till more population. There's our manpower generation. Probably should have waited, but it'll be fine. Now, of course, this guy's probably going to stab me in the back. We'll see. Again, he's, he should have conquered this by now. I'm not sure why he hasn't. Next turn. And see, so he retreated into a city. And Godfrey is the father of a new girl. Oh, yeah, the ruler has uh, desired her son, but good decided. God decided otherwise, because God hates us. So he's got a little daughter. The opening claim of Leinster on Sotherbo undermines our authority and shows their disrespect for our sovereignty. That's okay. You received a new regional decision, spy on nobility. And the health blah blah has degraded to good. So I told you, he's 47 years old and could die any second. Now these are his boats that are doing him no good. <laughs> I think. So there's his army there. Oh, that's the garrison, right? So he's got... Uh, 28 strength to our whopping 89. Flip merge, assault, garrison, raid, retaliate, disband. Two. 
So this is besieged. The walls haven't been breached yet. Godfrey might accidentally choke on a chicken bone, which is uh, attached to a large axe. It's possible. We have more population. What do they think we should make? Fruit trees? I think we have a uh, fruit as a thing here, don't we? We do. We have fruits here. So, a fruit tree orchard is food. We lose infrastructure, but we gain money. We get a uh, missing bonus of three food from nuts and seeds. Produces fruits. We already produced Oh. Brown some pewter smelter. Needs copper, trading required. No, I don't want to do that. I don't have that stuff. Bakery. Lose some infrastructure, get some more food, lose some money. Missing bonus of three food. Oh, we lost our flax production, that's why. Miner stockpile. This is military stuff. Needs preserved food, local trade goods, stuff. There's a wooden church. And the alarm bell. So we get the uh, lose infrastructure, we pick up stewardship. Missing bonus of two stewardship, but two manpower from weapons. But it generates two garrisons, two light garrisons. Let's go along with the hamlet and knights residents there. So it's only eight. There's number eleven. Fletchers don't count. I don't know. Food. Farmer's market. So estimated changes. 15 food. All the bonuses. Money as well. It's a lot of food. I think we'll build that. Oh, a stud so we can have horses. Mm -hmm. Do we want horses? Should we want to use a mini? So give us infrastructure, and I think that's the shield is equipment. Studs of food, infrastructure, equipment. And a bunch of other stuff takes advantage of it. Hmm. Thinking here, though, because food and money. Well, it takes five turns, and that's... Oh, we have all these farmers, too. There's three. Still three. Guess it's going to be three turns to build this no matter what we do. Okay, so three turns to get uh, the farmer's marker up. Mark it up. Here, two turns until population growth. There, but five turns until the manor is built. What kind of stuff do we have? It's a call to arms. To faith, draft levies. The problem is, if we do this, it's going to bite into our manpower. We already lost one. How did that happen? Mercenary campaign. Are right, the service of mercenary company? The nature of it depends on your nation. That was some of the possible variations. Mercenaries have a high upkeep cost and money, but are often proficient. Disbanding them uh, might have some side effects, though, as they can turn into marauders. 
about me. Call them up and see how much it screws me over. Of course, they won't show up at 200 gold. So I won't get them until next turn. Hopefully they don't attack me in the process, because that would be bad. Ah, so apparently uh, mercenaries showed up in time. We have 176 combat power versus their 128. So we are going to export this and fight it out. So this is the whole reason of getting the Field of War Kingdoms and Field of War II Medieval, because you get to do this if you have both games. Yes. So it's restarting. Or sorry, starting up uh, Medieval 2 now. Sorry, Field of Glory 2 Medieval. Ta-da, there we go. Oh no, it's under Battles. And then we've got Kingdom Battle, Kingdom's Battle. And you just need the base game of Field of Glory 2 Medieval to do this. The, no DLCs are required. There are DLCs for it. Um, I don't have any installed, though, I don't think. I'm not sure if I have any, actually. <laughs> okay, so Irish versus the Irish. Objective, route the enemy army by routing at least 40% of their troops and 25% more than you have lost, or routing 60% of their troops. Irish A, turn 1 of 24. Turns remaining, 23. We are Irish A. Here's our mercenaries. Should we come have them come from the trees? These are Irish currents, so... So there's our little slingers out front. So it looks like we have multiple cavalry out here. Foot, foot, foot. Where's your javelin, man? They're hiding in the trees. That's where they are. Ah, here we go. So slingers. I thought that we had two or three slingers. You guys go over this way. Lure the bad guys over to this side a little bit so these guys can actually do a good ambush. Or you can put two ambushers in here. Now they're moving the truck, uh, the cavalry up there. The king of the slingers, the Irish VIP. I don't know what that means. Horses. No, don't dismount. He's over here. So the mercenary current. So where are the other mercenaries? Are this?
basically want the mercenaries on the front line because, you know, they're not going to be with us very long. They're expensive. So we want them to be in the front. Sub-general. What does that mean? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so there's one javelin over there. I could have swore I had more slingers than one. I thought I could have swore I had two or three slingers. Didn't I? Anyway, good enough. Let's go. Chance of hiding horses now that uh, we're out in the open? I don't think so. So there's javelin man. So our javelins can two. So they're going to move two. As also, getting move up here. So if we go there, they'll probably shoot us. So, but if we move up one, that is not the way I really wanted to do that. That is definitely not the way I wanted to do that. Ah, it's gone well. Okay, I forgot about the ambush. Eh, no, I think it might be okay. Okay, so that was probably not the smartest thing for him to do there. He does have more javelins than we do, though. Now he's in range of the horses, so he'll be fine. And then turn and shoot. Oh, there's javelin there. I don't know if we want to turn and shoot. You get more damage if you turn to face him, but if we did turn, that means he's going to come up and shoot us in the back, so we don't want that, right? It's not great, but I got horses. Evading. Chicken.
Let's see what these guys do first. You know, when I get charged, I never get a chance to evade. Oh, their rear attack. Because he got caught behind them. So they're kind of caught. So run. We let these guys sit here for a while. Because if our right side gets pushed up too much, yeah, we'll see. Let's put tools. Oh, there we go. So, next unmoved. Is that you? That's it. Next unshot. Toggle line of fire. Ah, that'll be useful. Toggle line of sight, don't care about that too much. Toggle command range. Command range? I don't think we have a commander, do we? Okay, good enough. Javelins versus javelins, totally a fair fight. Engaged cavalry, huh? <laughs> that worked for him. Oh, go cavalry. We need more cavalry. <laughs> Definitely need more cavalry. Cavalry. Let's engage them. Charge into them. Wow, apparently they don't want to fight me. Oh, that's not a flank? It should have been. How come they're not evading? And then they're out of range for being thrown at. Oh, they can't move. Uh, do these up? I think we did something with them, didn't we? Oh, here's our slingers. Apparently can't shoot them because, what, they're engaged in melee? With damage. Help your little friends out. I'm not sure that's helping too much, but. So the picked Irish foot, and this is regular Irish foot, so go get them. Chickens. Surrounded by chickens. So they can't do anything. Can charge into these guys. It's a little bit of disruption, but we can't these horses can't do anything. They're stuck. I don't know how this works.
Next down. Back them up. The horses have some place to retreat if they have to. Slingers. I guess can't do anything from here. I guess did your movement. Can't do that. Should we go? Keep pushing up the middle? Yeah, it's yeah, do that. You did it wrong. I didn't do anything. This is how you do it. <sighs> Warg. Please excuse me. That was embarrassing. I meant to say. Jag. They're retreating, but I don't think they're routing. Ow, that hurt. You did it wrong. No, I this is how you do it. <laughs> I don't know what she's hearing. Warg. Please excuse me. That was embarrassing. I meant to say. Jag. You need to do nothing. Vern is there to criticize you. I know. Did nothing twice, even. The only thing I can think of is the neighbor's dog is barking. And maybe that's where she was responding, responding to. Because, you know, arf. Rark sound, kind of sound the same. Anyway. So flank these guys. And they're routing. Now, unfortunately, they followed him, and now they're... I don't like that. <laughs> you have no control over that. Javelins. Oh, this is going to be in the back. I should have turned. should have turned. See, there's the dog barking. You did it wrong. See? This is how you do it. <laughs> She's responded to the dog barking. <laughs> Warg. Please excuse me. That was embarrassing. I meant to say. Jag. Sorry, Mrs. Kimpy was telling me she's got to go out and run a couple of errands, and I asked her if she got Rocket's permission, and she said no, so she hates Rocket. Held firm. These horses. You guys are... Those guys are walking away. You can charge into them. Yes, do that. Now, that didn't go so well. Leave without permission. Uh, yeah, I know. It's going to be an issue. It's going to be a huge issue. 
Slingers. Slingers have no targets here. I guess they need direct line. Would grab pass through. Probably shouldn't be looking at the buttons to see what this actually does. So win 100% draw blah blah blah. So go. And they broke and they're routed. So that works. So javelin. Shouldn't he be able to shoot him in the back? Because they're not ours. Or are they out of javelins? Is that what it is? Shoot. So get there. I would go crush these guys. You turn? Can't turn. So you can't move for whatever reason. Yes. So then there's pass through, but we don't want to do that. Um, over here. Okay, who hasn't moved? Tab is the key we're looking for. Okay, that's it for our turn. Dispersed. And routing. Remember, we only have to get 60% of them to route and we win. Falling back, cavalry, you chickens, chicken cavalry. You're doing so well over there. Charge. Charge. Again, didn't look at the numbers. There. Good job. Protect the cavalry. You can charge into them from here. So win 30%, draw 66, lose 3%. So, sure. So this is heavy militia. We probably don't want to be charging into them. Like, how did he get heavy militia? <laughs> I just realized that. Where's he getting heavy militia from? The javelins fall back if we can. Free damage. So this is uh, win 43%, draw 56. So, sure. Okay. 
can charge them down. Oh, let's kill these guys in the back. Oh, this is their sub-general. We wanted to kill him. So now he's in position to charge them from behind now. Because he's going to keep running more than likely. So win 16, draw 75, lose 9. So even, sort of, kind of. 27, 68, 5. Let's see, he's losing, you know, more men because he's 2 on 1. Some good numbers there, I guess. Oh, now they're fragmented. I don't know what fragmented means. I'm guessing that's a good thing for us. And then win 100%. He held firm, though, but lost 10. So that's good, right? Two seventy four. Why can't he attack? Why can't these guys be attacked? Now, uh, win one percent, draw forty two, lose fifty seven, because reasons, right? Can't retreat. These are the slingers, so... I can shoot those guys. And face them. There we go. So 12 damage and nothing in return for us. Next. Just regular Kearns against Irish Foot. But he'll keep his javelins engaged, I guess. You can't, why can't he move? Did you move? He must have moved already, didn't he? It's just those two. Javelins would give them a little bit of an exit, exit strategy if they need it. So that's our turn. Ow, oh, he just hit the cavalry right there. Okay. Are they still fighting? Wow, this is taking longer than I thought it would. Oh, the melee. Oof, that hurt. Okay, so horses. These guys can kind of strong. Oh, now you can't do anything? Oh, I don't like that. Don't like that at all. So twenty four seventy two. Thirty nine. Let's go you first. Slightly better numbers. Twenty five sixty nine. So slightly one. 
javelins. Turn and shoot them. I'll take the free damage. So horses. Charge the crappy javelin men or cha charge the heavy militia. That could be a flank. You're steady. Let's yeah, hit these guys first. So is that just a maneuver they do? They hit and they fall back. Wow, I didn't think that was going to happen. P12, strength, ammunition. Oh, he needs three turns before he gets more ammunition. I guess that's how that works. So they can't throw every turn. That way, in case they, you know, throw stuff at us. So this is no win, draw thirty-seven, lose sixty-three. I don't think we want to do that. Much better numbers. Can't do anything there. You can only go after them. These javelins. You can throw right at them. Held firm but died. Charge into them. There we go. Oh, nice continuation of the flank. Oh, that hurt a lot. Better? Better. So melee seventy percent win, thirty percent draw. So if they're disrupted, they should be breaking any day now, right? Held firm. They're dying right there, but they're holding. Slingers. You or them. Let's go face them and throw at them. Take free damage. Foot, 100% win. Already did you guys. So who haven't we done? So these foot. Let's uh, sport these guys over there. That was our move. Oh, bummer. Okay, next turn. So we're winning. Ouch. Fragmented. Hey, leave our horses alone. They're bought and paid for.
And there we go. The enemy has lost heart. You are victorious. Ta-da. Dorad claims this, uh, we can claim this as a glorious victory. We will. So we're Irish A. Original strength, 3717. No, wait a minute. Is that right? So their strength was higher than ours for some reason. So they lost almost 2,000 men to our 366. Cavalry does wonders. Do you want to close blah, 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 and launch kingdoms? Yes. So now we go back to kingdoms and uh, import the file in, and hopefully we uh, is it restarting on its own. Guess I have to hit the button. So Leinster should now belong to us. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so upper left hand corner. Now we import the most recent uh, thing. And that is from 1358, which was just happened. So now we really want cavalry. For real. Those are, those are mercenaries. We got really lucky. That, that that worked out the way it did because I didn't think I was going to get the access to the mercenaries until the next turn but they came out of their, their garrison to attack us and the mercenaries had already joined us so that worked out really well so they did have more people than us it was just mostly javelins that's why they were weaker I said the cavalry definitely uh, was the turning factor there I think okay it looks like we won. Processing turn still. But it looks like uh, we have this province now, or region, whatever it is. Territory. Hey, some military buildings are fortifications that provide fortification. Fortification points then disappear. Once you have accumulated enough of such points, you will be able to build a permanent fort or castle, which provides many bonuses, extra garrison, national authority, and free troops upgrade. Our fortifications that provide for protection, they just then disappear. Once you have accumulated enough of such points, then you'll be able to build a permanent fort or castle. Hey, bag of water, <coughs> it is time to take a break. Go stretch your legs. Gottfried met with the Lord Captain. Your next Pledge break is in one Lord. hour. Get this stuff real quick. So, Leinster, that belongs to us. So, what kind of property is it? Got a whole whopping five, eight population. Two nobles, though, for some reason. Take one of these guys and go put them working at money. Oh, we gotta get rid of these uh, garrison, the mercenaries. 139. Sorry. 160 for the military upkeep, which is the bulk of that is the mercenaries. Oops. So. These guys, so the two cavalry and three kerns, but they're experienced with the stars. But we have to get rid of them because money that's going to disappear so quickly. Let's get rid of them. And then you guys can go back into here. So we got, so we got uh, manorial demands farm, a sawmill, a bloomery, and charcoal burner. So the sawmill is infrastructure five and produces wood. That's good. The bloomery loses money, but stewardship is one. Bonus of two from coal. Metals, oh, nice. So now we're producing more metal. Our metal production is now up to six from one. <laughs> so that's good. And then the charcoal burner is infrastructure too, lose money, needs wood, local trade good, blah, blah. So the AI actually put this together pretty pretty well. Sawmills feed, feeding wood into charcoal, charcoal's feeding, uh, 
charcoal into the bloomery, which is producing metal and getting bonuses out of all that stuff. So the AI was really smart building that. Smarter than me. We have a minor stockpile that's for preserving food. We already have a fortified village. And an abandoned palace. Should probably fix that up. The anchorage, why is it grayed out? Sure, why that's gray. That's okay. So I'm surprised. But anyway, we'll continue this turn when I get back from break because I need to get up, stretch my legs, get some water, that kind of thing. Be back in a few minutes. Thank you very much for watching and uh, enjoy the dog video. <laughs> 